好，大家好，欢迎回到乐学成长空间，我是乐学。今天我邀请到这位老板，这位嘉宾，他的公司，相信大家只要在马来西亚就一定有看过他的平台，因为今天的公司也就是 My News Holdings b a h a t 除了旗下有 My News 这个超商品牌之外，也包括了韩国超商 CU， 还有在机场我们会看到的 WH Smith。那么今天我们将会聊两个重点，第一。到底今天这位嘉宾是如何把 My News 从零到一打造起来？而第二，我们将会从一个投资的角度来看看这件上市公司有什么值得我们关注的事项。也相信有些投资者应该有长期关注的话，都知道 My News 自疫情起来都已经出现了亏损，但是近期好像出现了一个转机，是否这个转机会延续下去呢？那么事不宜迟，我们就请今天的嘉宾，也就是 My News Holdings b e r h a r d 的 Founder 兼 Chairman。Luke 上来跟我们分享他和 My News 的故事。What is the business model of My News Holdings Berhad? The begin with、uh, My News Holdings Berhad is、uh, listed on the main board of Bursa Malaysia. The group is predominantly involved in、uh, retail business. Korea number one convenience store, which is CU, WH Smith from UK, Super Value, Mini Mart. We also、uh, operate a coffee brand. Maru that is currently sold within the convenience store. Besides that,、uh, we have two subsidiaries that are involved in ready-to-eat food production.、Uh, one plant produce bakery, and the other one、uh, meals that we serve our retail stores to the consumers. What makes you wanted to start your own business back then? I come from a family of rubber tapers. Growing up in a rubber tapers family wasn't easy. So I had always wanted to make a difference. Keep telling myself that I have to break the chain of hardship in in the villages.、Uh, those days, businesses that you, you are able to see are basically retail. Those are the ones that you thought have a lot of money, they have a lot of cash. So that thought of wanting a business of my own had always been with me since young. What makes you decided to start a convenience store back then? When I was working full time in IT, I did try to write some programs, hoping to build application to sell in IT line. Working hours very long. There wasn't night and day. So I was I was confronted with an opportunity that I came across.、Uh, there was a retail space in a shopping complex. I was、uh, confronted with that, and I told myself, why not just do it? A small business. It was about one to two hundred square feet. Fit my desire, and I and I and I took on it. So we started as a news agent, but then digital media was replacing print. So we began to transform. Transformation took us to become convenient chain. What was the struggle at the beginning of like a convenience store? Like what was the struggle like having like my news at the beginning? At the beginning, I inadvertently stepped into a newsstand business or news agent business that was very traditional and chaotic. During those days, newsstands were messy, cluttered, closed off. There was not even proper shelf to display newspapers or magazines. You know,、mm. things were hanging from the pole, tied with strings. That was how the store was. We wanted to set up nicer store. We couldn't find the hardware, so we managed to change things around. So that was the first struggle when when, when the whole industry was traditional and unprofessional. So the second struggle was transformation. When print media started declining, so you have to transform, become convenience store. So imagine the store was set up for print media. There was no plug points. There was no water. There was no space for this and that. It was basically for newspapers. So that transformation process、uh, was very painful. What do you consider as like the the pivot point for my news? We started from scratch, ground zero, nothing. I can say that、uh, what is still important today. Is、uh, being innovative, so you keep changing, you keep improving. With change and innovation, we were able to overcome all the brutal, brutal facts of reality. Renovating a store, renting a store, require a lot of capital. Like how how do you actually convince people to or like bank to、uh, borrow money or how do you generate the fund? Before we went IPO in the year 2016, we survived mainly on internally generated fund. We do have borrowings, but all the borrowings are related to property purchase vehicles. Financing for our trucks. After IPO, IPO, of course, as a public listed company, allow us to expand. 
and also went into constructing our own food processing center. Why do you guys want to have your own、uh, food processing center back then? Like, what synergy do you see? Convenience store in Malaysia used to be very boring, very unattractive. Right.、Uh, it was at least five, ten years behind. Even our neighbors like Thailand, and then you go further to Hong Kong, Taiwan, Japan, we were way behind.、Uh, one of the category that was popular in countries like Japan, Taiwan, were fresh food. We were very boring. We didn't have much other than the standard beverages and snacks and chips. We saw the trend. We knew we had to do it. Even as a first mover, we had to do it. Otherwise, you know, we we just continue to fall behind. Producing of fresh food for convenience chain is very different from for restaurants and catering、mm -hmm. because it is a mass production. It is for fast consumption trend. So every unit of unit of food that you produce, you have to spread them over a few hundred stores, and then you have to produce fifty, sixty, seventy types to spread it over. So it is it is it is different, you know. I like catering. Talking about financials, like we can see that right now, the FPC is like kind of like contributing eight percent of the total、uh, group revenue, and it seems like it's still、um, unprofitable. Is there any reason why led to that, or is there any like target that you can be can share with us? Our problem was、uh, it was rather unfortunate that we launched. So we signed the agreement in twenty seventeen.、Mm -hmm. After more than a, half, a year and a half to two years of construction, it is it is a state of the art,、uh, large scale manufacturing facility of 130,000 square feet, and then、uh, it took us more than a year and a half. So at the point when we launched it, it was towards the the third quarter of 2019. So we all excited. Production begins. We started to roll out food first. Gradually, and then we speed up. But unfortunately, barely three, four months after we launched it, pandemic hit Malaysia. Officially, we、uh, Malaysia declared、uh, COVID nineteen pandemic in January twenty twenty. So that brought us down to our knees. What about competition about the FPC? Like, because it sounds like、uh, you guys are like you mentioned is at break even point.、Um, Do my news holdings, but consider to use your additional capacity for other company, or what? What is the plan there to reach the hundred percent? We do supply to a limited number of、uh, customers,、uh, mm -hmm. basically Japanese、uh, customers. Japanese trust their own quality, so、right. our plants are, are operated by the Japanese. So we do have Japanese、uh, business who gets get from us, but predominantly. We are very focused on serving our own outlets,、uh, My News, CU, and W Smith. So we are comfortable with the capacity at this point in time. Our 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 future growth, future increase in sales,、uh, will will continue to increase our capacity. So now our focus is switch to basically ramping out more food and buns at My News as well. Why see you back in twenty twenty one? Why? What makes the decision to bring in a A、uh, Korean convenience store brand. CU is a food centric concept.、Mm -hmm. That means、uh, when you walk into CU, you see food, a lot of food. Obviously, we knew that it will help in increasing the production capacity of FPC. And then K culture, it was so popular. That's why we brought in the CU,、uh, the number one convenience store in Korea. Would you be able to share like what what was like the the struggle or like the the challenges was facing、um, for CU? It is a new brand, new in the country, different concept, selling a lot more food, and that requires different handling. There are many differences. So perhaps during the first year, one of the mistake was grow too many stores. So we 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 basically planted like hundred twenty stores during the first year. We took it like minus. You know, we can do hundred minus store. We do hundred. So that was、uh, perhaps、uh, too aggressive.、Uh, you know, it,、uh, with such a high cost of new stores. Depreciation, everything, just just plowing. From like a numbers perspective, because we know that since COVID, since the pandemic happened,、uh, my news was like making losses, and then but in the latest quarter, it seems like、uh, you guys are starting to be profitable. 
just wondering from a management perspective, do you think the worst has been over and do you, do you can you provide any like uh, short-term or long-term uh, outlook to the investor? If you compare it quarter to quarter, uh, they may be up and down mm-hmm. because uh, quarter is every quarter is so short, three months, and uh, it's driven by seasonal events. So for example, Christmas, New Year, the sales is always better. They will be a bit down during a fasting month, you know, situation like this. Any any last thing you want to share to a uh, current investor or even potential investor? I, I'm, I'm not good in investment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur, uh, doing my best, uh, drive my news, grow my news. I just hope investors be more patient. Pandemic was such a tough time. Entrepreneurs, uh, you, just, you just have to stay motivated, have a passion, stay motivated, stay passionate. Okay. Thanks for this sharing. I mean, personally, I learned a lot like from an entrepreneur side, even like from learning uh, my new current situation. But once again, I really appreciate your time uh, having like this almost an hour session with me. And I hope maybe in the future, if there's any uh, update, we can definitely invite you back. But once again, thank you. And then we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for having me.